Quincy, we want to talk a little bit. You talked about the recession. We're, we're clear in our messaging that we don't think that's going to happen this year, but clearly there's going to be one around the corner at some point. And LPL Research put out some great information about what historically happens in the stock market during a recession. I think it's fascinating and very important to note the market and the economy don't always move in the same direction. So why is it important for investors to understand that? It's important because it sounds contradictory. It doesn't sound intuitive. Uh, the fact of the matter is that the market is not the same as the economy, and the economy is not the same as the market. Sometimes it overlaps. Yeah, sometimes it does. But we had a saying. I started off on a trading floor in, in, in New York. We had a saying, and that is that the market gets the news first. Hmm. That's a saying you will hear a lot. And what happens is the market sniffs out before the economy actually turns. It sniffs out whether or not the Fed is going to continue to raise rates. It sniffs out whether or not we're beating inflation. There are signals that we watch. And so the, the, the market picks up by the way we start investing, the sectors we moved into, uh, whether or not we are pulling out of a recession. And that's why sometimes at the tail end of a recession, you'll actually see the market climbing higher. And by the way, who decides when we're in a recession? It's the National Bureau of Economic Research, um, the NBER, and they won't tell you until about a year later. A year later, I hate to say this, I feel so guilty, we would start laughing. You know why? Because the economy <laughs> was doing really well, and so was the market. Want more content like this delivered to your inbox weekly? Visit fastest4.com to learn more.